Hi, kindergartners. Today we're going to be talking about how to make good choices and what we need to do in order to make good choices. We need to stop and think before we do that. But before we talk about our new lesson today, I just want to do a little bit of review. So last time we talked about what makes a good friend, right? We want friends that are fun, who can share their toys, um, who are honest with us, right? Who are kind to us. And we also talked about how to make a new friend, right? So what are some of those questions that you can ask? Well, you can ask what their name is, right? You can ask um, what they like to do. You can wave and smile to them. So that helps you make a new friend, right? That's important to be nice and kind to our friends. So let's go ahead and talk about our new lesson today. So Tuggles is too good for drugs. So are you. So let's talk to Tuggles for a minute. Hi class. Do you remember when you showed me how to have a good day? You helped me start out with a good day by eating a healthy breakfast, getting plenty of rest, and brushing my teeth. Tuggles had a much better day after we showed him how to do it. He played with his friends. He did his best in school. He helped his neighbors. Now he knows how to have a really good day. I sure do. Tuggles is a smart little bear, and he is learning a lot in kindergarten, just like you are. Like you, Tuggles knows that he is too good for tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs. I sure do. Tuggles is smart enough to know that sometimes he must make choices when Mama Bear and Papa Bear are not around to help him decide what to do. He wants to make a good choice that will help him stay safe and healthy. He wants to make those good choices. Tuggles, please have a seat and we're going to learn about how to make good choices. And we want you to join our class today. Thanks, Miss Sarah. All right, so let's go ahead and help Tuggles learn how to make good choices. Okay, class, so let's talk about what is a decision. Well, as you can see on the picture on the screen here, there's this person and he has his hand on his head and his hand on his hip and there's a bunch of different arrows. So he could choose to go this way, he could choose to go that way. He has several different options. So a decision is the act of making up your mind. You choose between this or that. So have you ever had a decision to make? Yes, right? We all make decisions. I want to tell you about a decision Tuggles had to make one day. So Tuggles was about to jump into the neighbor's yard when he remembered something his mom told him to do. Tuggles was playing basketball when the ball bounced into his neighbor's yard. There was a wall between Tuggles' yard and his neighbor's yard. Tuggles climbed up to the top and looked over the wall. He was teetering on the brink. So teetering means he was balancing. He was on his tiptoes leaning forward. Okay. And again, he was about to jump into the neighbor's yard, but then he remembered what his mom had told him. So what did Tuggles remember to do? What do you think he remembered to do before he made that decision to climb over the wall to get his basketball? Well, Tuggles remembered to stop and think. He heard that little voice in his head to stop and think. Tuggles thought about why his parents had put up a wall between his yard and the neighbors. The neighbors had a very big, very mean, very bad dog. So there was a very mean, very bad dog on the other side of the wall. 
Tuggles thought about what could happen if he jumped over the fence. He might get his ball back, but he might get a big dog bite. Tuggles decided to climb down and walk around to knock on the neighbor's front door. His neighbor got his ball for him, and he did not get a big dog bite. Whenever Tuggles has a decision to make, he remembers to stop and think. So right now, what I want you to do, class, is go ahead and take out a separate blank sheet of paper. Okay? And I want you to write out the word stop in red. And I want you to write out the word think in yellow. Okay? I know it's green up here, but moving forward, when you guys get older, you're going to realize that yellow, that think should be in yellow. Okay, because when think about that, when we are slowing down to think, we're slowing down, right? And that's what yellow will represent, represent slowing down to think. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and write stop in red and then think in yellow. And I'll give you about four or five minutes to do that. And as you're doing this, I want you to think why is it so important to stop and think before we make decisions? Okay, so remember, we're writing stop in red and think in yellow. So this is going to help you remember to stop and think when you have a decision to make. That is why I'm having you guys write this out because you will remember more to stop and think before you make a decision.
okay class so if you are still working on that that's fine and feel free to pause the video to give your class more time if you'd like but I'm gonna go ahead and move on okay but again if you're still working on this feel free to pause and um, continue to do that so now let's talk about why decisions are so important and why it's important to stop and think before we make those decisions well decisions are important because they have to do with our life right so if we make a bad decision okay that is going to affect our lives possibly in a negative way right so if we choose to let me give you an example if we choose to yell and scream because we made a mistake okay that decision might end up resulting in being grounded or maybe you won't have your tablet for the week because you chose to yell and scream at your parents because you made a mistake um, so that is why it's important to stop and think so if we stop and think before we act in a mean way then we'll be better off right those consequences okay the result will be a good result okay so we want to stop and think so we make good healthy safe choices okay that's why it's so important okay so now let's go ahead and listen to a song okay it's called stop and think it's a song for making good decisions so when you hear stop I want you to extend your arm out okay when you hear think I want you to tap your head like this okay and then when you hear link I want you to link your two index fingers together okay when you hear time I want you to look at your wrist like you have a watch on then when you hear mind I want you to hold your head with both your hands okay and then when you hear teetering I want you just to lean forward okay like you're on your tippy toes all right and then when you hear good choice I want you to give me a thumbs up and again when you hear stop I want you to extend your arm out like you're a police officer okay if they would signal somebody to stop then again think to tap your head okay so let's go ahead and listen to this song and remember to do the movements with it okay
Okay, class, awesome job. Thank you for participating. So I want you to remember when we make choices, stop and think, okay? Because when we stop and think, most of the time we're gonna make those good, healthy, safe choices, right? Okay, so remember that song, okay? Okay, so now let's help Tuggles make good decisions, okay? So Tuggles was walking in the park he saw some cigarettes and matches. What should Tuggles do? Okay. What should Tuggles do? Tuggles just fell on the floor. <laughs> He's okay. I'm okay, class. I'm just a little clumsy. <laughs> okay. So, Tuggles, you came across cigarettes and matches. Okay. Class, what should Tuggles do? That's right, class. I should stop and think. Right. Tuggles needs to stop and think. Okay. Tuggles came across a beer in the refrigerator. No one was looking. What should Tuggles do? Right, class. I should stop and think. Cigarettes and alcohol are not healthy for children. Right, Tuggles, we should stop and think. Tuggles feels happy that he has learned how to make good decisions. It feels good when we make good decisions, right? It's important to remember two steps Tuggles learned today. What are they? We've just talked about them, right? First you stop, then you think. <laughs> All right, okay, good job, Tuggles. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, have a trusted adult email us and we'd love to hear from you and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have an awesome day, guys.